Hey everybody, it's November 2022. It's got to be one of the coldest and snowiest Novembers we've had. Uh, I'm going to be spending up to eight nights camping here in my Alaknak hot tent in pursuit of white-tailed deer. Stick around for this week's outdoor adventure. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, please get started by clicking the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's outdoor adventure. All right, well, we've been at it for about 20 minutes. I have the main corners of the tent pegged down. I have the poles in. I have to um, peg out the poles so that way they stand up. And then I go inside and uh, the pop tent up is big. starting to take shape. But I still have a little bit of work to do. I got the tent set up. I got the stove set up. But I still got to get all the gear in there to make this place feel a little bit like a home. I'm going to be spending here, I think, up to about eight nights here. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it's Good morning, folks. It is day one, Saturday, November 5th. Um, had a pretty good sleep last night, but woke up, as you can see, to a ton of snow, probably like three or four inches of snow. It was supposed to snow here for a couple more hours. Uh, plenty warm enough last night. Um, slept with the little buddy heater for a little while, then made a fire this morning. And it was pretty cozy. I think it maybe got down to like minus two or three degrees Celsius. And today is one of those days where I think it's just going to get colder through the day. Um, but uh, anyways, plan for today is just to, uh, you know, follow along some trails. I like the snow. Um, especially I like the fresh snow to kind of see with what's going on and what's moving around. So hoping that this is a good day for me to kind of put on some foot miles. And uh, yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. Wow, look at this. It's just so beautiful. Forget how amazing the bush looks on that first snowfall. Well, I saw a deer. Um, I think it was a white-tailed doe or maybe a tiny spiker. But um, I'm walking along a trail that was quadded this morning. And um, this thing walked out onto the quad trail with its butt facing me which is not a shot I'm gonna take and again it's along a quad trail where someone was quadding this morning you can see that the tire tracks were really really fresh so I'm not about to shoot along trails and I'm not along to shoot um, at their butts <laughs> um, it's nice to see stuff's finally moving I haven't seen a track yet this morning until seeing this deer I dropped a pin on it here and um, might try to come back tomorrow morning. Sometimes these things are creatures of habit. I don't know if you guys remember or if you're new to the channel, but last year um, I went on a big long November rifle trip and I got a white-tailed deer on my, I think it was my last day or second last day. That also was an eight day trip. Um, I had to drag that deer really, really far. I think it was like 1.7 kilometers or something like that. So I'll run the math on that and uh, note it here on the screen. But um, I had to drag that guy basically from a lake, so up a hill. And um, it was, I think it was bare ground then. Anyways, it was a horrible drag, absolutely terrible. Um, I guess I'm a sucker for punishment because I'm going to push into that same area again. It's just so tempting. It's a nice little spot, but yeah. Anyways, time to shove along. I got last year's buck down there, probably down one or two more steps. It's a steep, steep climb. I brought my trekking pole, so I'm glad I did because getting out of here is going to be pretty slippery, but there's just such nice contours. It makes it really easy to watch around, especially if you're not in a tree stand. I can see it pretty far away. I might try to get up to one of the top of ones and maybe try calling for a little bit. It's beautiful down here though. Pretty good one. Probably two, three feet off the ground. 
haven't been in this trail before. Well, it's probably a, about 1.30, 2 o'clock. I made my way back to camp just to have some lunch, just having up some instant ramen noodles. Um, after the morning walk as well, I went and found a few dead laying trees and um, took some wood home here. So um, it's going to get pretty cold here over the next few nights, so I wanted to bulk up a little bit. I still don't think I have enough, though, for the whole week. Um, I'll show you what I got kind of piled up here over top as I'm talking. And then I probably have, I don't know, maybe about half that much stowed away in the tent. So I would probably imagine I have about like four nights worth maybe. Um, so probably need to grab some more at some point. Anyways, going to have some noodles and then uh, get rugged up for the evening hunt. I found a set of fresh tracks and so I decided to... Um, get in there and follow it along and um, sure enough probably like 50 yards ahead of me there was two head two white tails and um, one might have been a little spike and um, I'm assuming that the other one then was a doe they ran off ahead a little bit but um, they didn't grunt or snort at me so I think I'm gonna go try to see if I can um, get on them again. It is about 10.30. Saturday night, time for bed. It's the old end of daylight savings time thing today, so I have to wake up an hour earlier, but I guess I gain an hour. I don't know, the the whole thing, I don't know, makes it kind of difficult when you're still just waking up a couple hours before the sun gets up. It doesn't really matter what time it is, I guess, but I um, had a pretty good day today, all things considered. I saw that one, what I think was a doe um, this morning, and then um, the one that I was uh, going, kind of doing some tracking there and um, saw the one bedded down. So a couple deer there. And then I saw a few just driving around too. So um, definitely seemed like the cold and the snow has gotten the deer moving. So I'm optimistic about tomorrow. I think I'm going to kind of push into a place that's actually really quite close to the roads, hoping that the other hunters kind of funnel some of the deer my way. Uh, I found a spot with a few good antler rubs on it and some good deer trails yesterday, so optimistic about tomorrow. I'm um, probably going to go hit the hay right away. Um, remarkable how nice this hot tent is working. I mean, outside it's about minus 10 degrees Celsius, and in here at about um, chest height, I am sitting at about 12 or 13 degrees, and then here I am sitting at about 7, my thermometer says about 7 degrees Celsius, so that's not bad given that I'm not really cl too close to the fire, um, a few feet away from it, and uh, a little bit lower than where all the heat goes, but um, pretty uneventful night. We had the corned beef hash and a couple fried eggs for dinner which was pretty good had a beer and um, just spent a lot of the evening catching up on some youtube uh, videos from uh, some of the guys that i follow so um yeah that's it in a nutshell anyways i'm going to bed and i will catch up with you tomorrow good morning everybody it is sunday morning it's a cold one, probably about minus 13 or so degrees Celsius. It was a cold night last night. I ended up waking up every couple of hours to stuff some more uh, firewood there in the stove. And the few times that it went out, it quickly got below freezing inside the tent. But then whenever I get the fire back, we'd bump that thing up to like 10 degrees Celsius or so chest height. So got to wake up every 90 minutes or every two hours to keep that thing going. But anyways, enough about that. Um, it's the first morning of the change the times thing and I was still a little bit late but hopefully I'll be better paced for tomorrow but we're gonna walk in 
where I saw that doe in the bedding area yesterday, hoping that I can, uh, you know, find um, her again. I mean, sometimes these deer are creatures of habits this time of the year. And um, I also brought along some um, antler, uh, rattling antler bags. I brought my grunt call, got a doe, bleak can. So we'll try a few things along the way, even have some scents in my pockets. But yeah, we're going to probably just try the approaches we've done before. Um, kind of find some fresh sign. When we find it, we'll walk in on it and uh, try a little calling along the way. It's gonna be a chilly one, so let's get moving. It's around nine. I am, uh, I'll show you actually maybe what I'm working with here. That's the trail that I came in on. And then he got this pretty nice little clearing where a trail goes to the left or I guess straight and went off to the right and then a little ways down there's another one to the left and pretty much right dead in the middle of this frame back in that direction is where that dove's bedded yes i'm just gonna hang here for a little bit try some calls and scents and um maybe spend half an hour or an hour got another deer bed in here got some rubs on that tree and then some rubs over on that tree i'm just um plotting all this stuff on the iHunter app, which is a super cool app, by the way, but I'm plotting it all on the iHunter app just so I can get a sense of uh, how I might hunt this spot here over the next few days. So we're still going to just keep bumping along, look for tracks, follow those tracks in, see if we can find anything bedded down. And um, if we uh, can't find anything bedded down, we'll look for sign. Kind of like run and gun hunting. It's cold, so the deer should be bedded down or moving maybe on these trails. And it's a good way to look for some sign. More rubs over there. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's a tree over there with a bunch of rubs on it too. There you go. This one is so fresh that you can see all the crud still at the bottom of the tree. That's really good sign there just set up across from those rubs so way across on the other side of the field is where all those rubs are I'm gonna try to hang here for a little bit use some more calls and scents see what happens well there's only about an hour left in the day Sunday probably I guess around four o'clock so I'm gonna hike into uh, the back way where I saw all of those rubs and then um, maybe make it back to the field and if not just kind of position myself somewhere along this trail that leads in that direction. Great. Just great. 20 minutes of legal hunting light and we got a quad. Very cool. Oh, cool and his friend nice sometimes these guys with quads man they never cease to amaze me I mean you got an hour left of legal light and you are just 500 meters I guess maybe a little further 500 yards from the road pissing around on your quad get off your machines so frustrating All right, this is our dinner. We're gonna do this tomato Alfredo sidekicks, but the bad news is it says you're supposed to have milk. I don't have milk, so I'm just gonna use water. Hope it doesn't turn out horrible. And we're gonna add a couple of venison Italian sausages into it. Well, I think that this pretty much wraps up Sunday. Um, hunkering down here right now for my third sleep it was a weird day today um i didn't see any deer i saw some fresh sign in the snow but no deer in them uh even just driving around to and from um didn't see anything which is a little bit strange um 
you know, sometimes the day before a cold front, you get the movement. So maybe that's what happened is yesterday the movement was a little better and today it was slow. So it's possible that just today may be a bit slower since we're in the cold front. So I don't know what to expect tomorrow. It's supposed to be about the same kind of weather, potentially a little bit of snow. Um, I think about minus 12 degrees Celsius kind of as a high. Um, yeah, after hunting those freaking quads, man, they really bum me out. I was, um, I hiked into a little spot there where I saw all those rubs and was really excited to get settled in there. And uh, of course, two quads come put, put, putting by, um, pretty frustrating with only half an hour, 20 minutes left of legal light. So I ended up wrapping things up a little early, came back here to camp. Uh, we made up some of that Lipton uh, sidekicks with uh, venison sausage, which was pretty good. It wasn't great, but it was all right. And uh, yeah, just hanging out. Um, it's about minus 14 degrees Celsius or so outside the tent. Uh, here inside the tent at, um, you know, chest high, um, it's probably about 15 or almost 20 degrees Celsius and here laying on the cot, I think it was seven and I'm pretty comfortable right now. I mean, granted, I'm in a long sleeve and um, all my base layers and so forth. But I got my socks and slippers off and my feet stretched out and it feels nice just to lay down. So the stove is definitely doing its job. It's just, you know, you got to get up every, um, you know, almost 90 minutes to stoke it. So tonight I'm thinking I might actually even just set a clock um, for every 90 minutes just so I can stoke the fire doesn't get too cold um but yeah that's about it anyways like i said it's bedtime now so uh we'll catch up with you for coffee and breakfast and we'll see you in the morning tell I'm in nature's ground blind uh, I love sitting under these um, evergreen trees I uh, cleaned out some of the low limbs and then I can just nestle right underneath and it keeps the snow off me and then I use all the extra limbs to put under my seat cushion for a little bit of added comfort but basically I'm facing towards a bedding area along my right it's a little bit of clear trail and then on my back side is a field. And uh, this field has a lot of rubs. And um, like I said, the straight ahead that way is the bedding area where I found another bed. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit until I get too cold. There's a little bit of a spot feeding into a bedding area. The bedding area is that way. And then field over that way. All right, my friends, it is Monday afternoon, maybe about quarter after one. I threw a lot more layers on, went back to camp for lunch. Um, it was awesome to be able to kind of warm up and throw some warm clothes on and get prepared for this evening's hunt. I'm going to be heading back under that tree I was this morning. I got really good wind for that bedding area. Hopefully, um, the wind basically is kind of going from the bedding area, sort of in my direction. So I'm hoping that something kind of crosses through there to sniff out what's bedded down. So that's the plan for tonight. Probably try some rallying and calling. It's gonna just get colder tomorrow. So hoping that there's some movement here today. And like I said, threw on a lot of layers of clothes. So I'm gonna try to stick around out here about as long as I can. Um, even doubled up on the socks, man. So anyways, Wish me luck. Busted one. Busted one on my way through. I got a couple hundred more yards to go until I reach my tree. And then I'm going to let the woods settle. And then try a little calling, I think. All right, my friends. It is Monday night. We just did a little DC Outdoors live stream tonight. Um, if you attended that, thank you super lots for coming out and spending some time with me. 
uh, always really appreciate all my friends jumping on and um, chatting in the chat and a few of you even jumped up on the panel which is super cool so many thanks if you did um, check out the live stream tonight um, we had some minestrone soup for supper um, I'm a little fearful that I might be eaten by bears as a result of eating that minestrone soup um, I hope that that won't happen but uh, at any rate we're snuggled here into bed uh, we got some clothes drying it was a pretty damp and cool uh, evening hunt so we got some clothes drying up all around us and um, like I said I think we're ready for bed once again I'm gonna check in on the stove every hour hour and a half so it'll be a pretty um, broken up sleep but uh, hence why we're going to bed early but at any rate, we'll check in with you in the morning. Good morning, my friends. It's a cold minus 19 degrees Celsius here Tuesday morning. Um, same as usual, had a sleep that was broken up every hour and 15 minutes by my clock waking me up, telling me that it was time to stuff more wood in the fire, but you know, we slept fairly warm. Uh, he, he really, like I said, it maybe dropped to about five or six degrees Celsius in there a few times, and then I would just stuff some more wood in and you know, be good to go. So, um yeah, we're going to see where the day takes us here today. I'm a little late getting out of the tent. Just stocked, piled back a bunch of wood back into the tent for later tonight. And I think that that set me behind schedule 10 minutes or so. But it's a clear, cold morning. So hopefully we get something moving. But it was also a um, full moon. So I'm usually not too optimistic about that. But we did get a bunch of fresh snow. So probably... I would say a few inches of fresh white snow so I'm gonna use that probably as my way to just try to find some sign uh, maybe find some fresh tracks and then just try tracking them I think and then hunker down later in the day it's just far too cold for me to sit still all day in this kind of weather it's 11 30 Tuesday morning beautiful clear day a little bit of white fluffy clouds in the sky but it's been the first day in a while where the sky isn't gray um i think i said it was minus 16 degrees celsius but there's no wind and with the sun it definitely feels good i've been basically just using the fresh snow to my advantage looking for tracks and then following them I found a good fresh set this morning and ended up following it in and finally saw a scrape. Um, and then I followed a few other sets and then I went further down this road behind me and then uh, didn't see any tracks for a while. So just kind of turned back. Um, I'm going to recon a little bit around where the truck is and um, then I'll check back in with you soon. It's 12 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. It's a beautiful day, but I'm having a really hard time. Um, I've now been out here three full days. So I was out here Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night. Four nights, three days. Haven't had very much luck haven't seen a lot and I think I've put in a lot of effort I don't know why but today my heart is telling me just to go home I got a lot of reasons I mean it's supposed to be pretty cold the next few nights minus 24 degrees Celsius overnight so that's a reason. I'm sure I can handle it. I've been comfortable every night so far, so I'm not worried. But do I need to stick it out? On top of it, my youngest son 
and my wife both have some sort of cold or flu. They've been sick all week, so it's kind of hard. It's hard when she's at home, you know, trying to do family stuff while being sick and dealing with a sick kiddo. My oldest son, he has a football game on Sunday. So he's got a few practices this week. Those will be pretty hard for her to manage while being sick and dealing with a sick kid. I don't know. My heart's telling me to go back to camp, tear down camp. That'll take a couple hours and then I could be home before dark. I still have the rest of the week off, so if I decide to call it quits, um, I can still hunt around home, some morning trips or night trips or something like that. I don't know, just mentally having a tough day, so um, you probably can see that there's a big quad trail cut line thing behind me. I think I'm going to have lunch here. That way I can kind of keep an eye on the trail. I did see a deer cross on this trail the other day. Probably cook up some lunch and um, see if my heart can make a decision. I don't know if I'll leave this in here or not, but I don't know. Sometimes when you're feeling like this as a hunter, you just wonder why you're doing it. I mean, I know I could do this. Like, I know I can stay out here a long time. But it's hard work. It's tiring. It's not a, this is not a, uh, you know, Caribbean vacation, my friends. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes into this. From my wife and kids. It's time. The sacrifice is time. I mean, yeah, it costs a little bit of money to buy tags or pay for gas or get equipment and stuff like that but the sacrifice to me isn't money it's it's time and uh i don't know just missing home so anyways i'm gonna cook lunch and uh yeah we'll see how it goes all right everybody well as you can see we made it back to camp I stopped and had a bite to eat for lunch and kind of thought back and forth about what I want to do. And uh, I think I decided that I'm going to pack out of here. Um, you know, I know I can spend the time out here and uh, I know I could stick with it. But to be honest, I think I'm just a little bit homesick and I just want to go home. Um, I did eight nights back in October and, uh, you know, thinking over lunch. I think it's been almost five days really since I've already seen my kids and wife really, right? Friday was a work day, got out here late, you know, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, today's Tuesday, it's five days. Um, I miss everybody, um, and I know that the rest of the week I can still get out and hunt and uh, either hunt locally or I can potentially scooch back up here if I want to, right? It's only an hour, couple hour drive to get back up here um, if I want to, but either way, yeah, I'm thinking like I'm, well, I'm not thinking, I am going to clean up the tent and uh, get out of here it'll take me about two hours to clean up the tent um and then it'll take me a couple hours to get home so i'm just going to surprise everybody they won't know that i'm coming home so i hope that that surprise is well received but um yeah like i said i think we're gonna hit the road um yeah so i guess that probably winds up this week's episode like i said i'm gonna clean this up right now and then uh probably sign off but uh, if you made it this far I really appreciate you watching sorry I let you down on this trip and didn't bag anything um, but I you know genuinely do uh, appreciate everybody watching supporting me commenting just all that good stuff man um, you guys make it hard to go home to be honest um, yeah it's 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 awesome having you in my corner and you know like I said there's still three weeks left of November for hunting season so um, I do still have some time, including time this week, right? So anyways, once again, though, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And again, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, 
gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that subscribe, like, and bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors. Forgot my spoon.